What's up guys, Technobo here for Server Pro and welcome to this tutorial for installing and using WorldEdit SUI. WorldEdit SUI is a simple plugin that helps admins visualize WorldEdit selections before they run commands. You no longer need to guess what you're looking at. To install the plugin, head over to the Plugins section. Select the Spigot tab and search for WorldEdit SUI. Install the version that's compatible with your server and restart. Alternatively, you could download it from the Spigot page and upload it to your Server Pro panel. Keep in mind that the plugin also requires the WorldEdit plugin to work properly. To visualize and use regions, you'll also need WorldGuard installed and up to date. You can see what plugins you already have installed by going to the Install tab under Plugins. Let's start with a basic wand. Doing slash slash wand and selecting an area already looks a bit different. This is the plugin in action. These particles are displayed server side, so there are no mod installs required by players. The plugin's main command is slash WESUI, which displays some information on the plugin and its commands. We'll be looking at a few of these in a moment. One of the most useful features from this plugin would be the copy visualization. I'll copy my selection here. Because copying areas is relative to where you are, it can be difficult to know exactly where things will end up. Slash WESUI toggle clipboard is the command that toggles a preview of where we'll paste our selection. Moving around, we can see exactly where our selection will paste if we run slash slash paste. To turn off the preview, we simply run slash WESUI toggle clipboard once again. Checking the WESUI command's information, we see we can also toggle the selection's particles as well with slash WESUI toggle. Slash WESUI show region followed by a region's name toggles a particle effect around that region's borders. This is where requiring WorldGuard comes in. If you have WorldGuard installed, we can create a zone with slash region space define space followed by the name of the region. I'll just call it test. I'll now change my selection and run slash WESUI show region test. You'll see a message in chat and the region's area is now shown by a particle effect. The plugin also talks about more advanced selection support. I'll change my selection to a sphere using slash slash cell sphere. Then I'll select a relatively large area and you can see exactly how my selection looks. This is true for ellipsoid, cylinders and even polygon selections. I'll use slash slash cell poly and I'll draw on a shape. Because the preview doesn't follow each block's shape and instead it draws a straight line, it can be less accurate on diagonal lines, but it's still more than accurate enough to be extremely useful. Locate the config in the plugins folder. This plugins config is very well documented. Just by looking at what's here, you'll understand exactly what each setting does. That being said, I'll go ahead and change a few. For example, we can change the particle effect. On line 15, I'll change flame to heart. I'll save the file and run slash WESUI reload in game. This will reload the plugin's config and you can see the effect has now changed. Changing enabled under advanced grid on line 46 from false to true enables the advanced grid. Looking back into our game, after reloading, you can see the size of our selection. The advanced clipboard grid and advanced WG region grid settings are the same. They all add sides to your selection visualizations. While there are tons of other settings that can be changed here, most of them affect performance on the client and server. These are set and optimized to be their best already. Anyways, I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any plugin suggestions, leave them in the comments below. If you're having issues with anything, contact our support team. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.